Потом музыка. На самом деле, очень плохая музыка. А зачем вы пришли сюда? Я думал, нам много будет, намного лучше будет это все. И очень плохая музыка, просто очень плохая музыка. Я думал, намного лучше это все будет. Сколько раз сюда ходил, было намного лучше. Но на этот раз как-то не удалось. Во-первых, народу мама музыка не очень. А что за направление? А? Что за направление? Направление? Какое направление? Что за направление музыки играется? How's it going, everyone? I am Kamjinsula, I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video! Okay, so we are currently in the fallout of Niantic's horrible announcement last week. To bring you up to speed, some major nerfs are coming to remote raid passes on April 6th, and it is looking to change Pokemon Go for the worse. A lot of players have been responding with a boycott to raiding and in-app purchases, and I think this will not work for a variety of reasons. If you want to see Niantic roll back on this change, something even more drastic needs to be done. I'm going to be talking about all of this in today's video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Alright, so probably Niantic's worst decision to date is set to go live this week on April 6th. In order to encourage more in-person raiding, they made the absolutely horrible decision to completely wreck remote raiding. This was a feature that was added a while back as a response to pandemic lockdowns, and it has been an important aspect of the player experience over the past few years. We all knew that remote raids would get nerfed eventually, whether it be hard limitations to how many you can do per day, or the damage reduction mechanic that was looming overhead, we all knew this wouldn't last forever. But in a seriously head-scratching move, Niantic decided to take it even further than anyone had anticipated. On top of creating a hard daily cap on how many remote raids you can do, they also decided to practically double the Pokecoin cost for remote raid passes. This was all done to serve Niantic's core philosophy, that Pokemon Go was never meant to be a game played from home. They want players to explore their neighborhoods and congregate to different areas, and experience the game the way they always intended it to be played. Well, this right here is a bit deceiving, and I'll get into that in a bit, but right now, there's a bit of a movement going on where players are calling for a boycott of Pokemon Go. They are encouraging players to not spend any money in this game until Niantic meets their demands. While I understand why players would think this would be effective, I actually don't think it will work. Believe it or not, Niantic does not care whether you spend any money on their game. Every single Pokemon Go player could go completely free to play, and Niantic would still be okay with that. So why is that? Well, it comes down to location data. The data that we collect for Niantic is worth way more than any amount of in-app purchases that we generate. Pokeshop revenue will generate millions, but it is the location data that we collect for Niantic that will make them billions. This isn't even some tinfoil hat conspiracy theory. Niantic has stated plenty of times that they are in the data selling industry. They are not in this to create positive gaming experiences. The whole point of Pokemon Go, along with all of their other games, is to collect location data which they can sell to advertising firms and big corporations. See, this is why I said that Niantic harping about their core values is deceptive. They are using gaming terminology to hide the fact that they want to capitalize on our location data. They know that in order to make money selling that data, they need their players out of the house. And what is the best way to do that right now? Well, it is to completely destroy any kind of at-home play, namely remote raids. This is also why they are pushing away from global events and remote gameplay, like making key events like Pokemon Go Fest and Go Tour in person, and nerfing items like incense. They want you to travel and play the game outdoors, because that is going to generate data that they can sell. Something that Pokemon Go players need to prepare for is a flurry of FOMO tactics that Niantic is going to use in the coming months. I predict that we will be getting some massive announcements for raid battles really soon, notably Mega Rayquaza and even possibly Mega Mewtwo. I can almost guarantee you that there will be players out there who will still buy remote raid passes just for these two raids. So what does this all mean? Is it a hopeless situation for Pokemon Go players? Well, no. I do think there is a way to send a strong message to Niantic. 
The best thing you can do right now in order to get Niantic's attention is to simply take a break from any of their games. Like I said, simply going free to play is not enough. As long as they are collecting location data from you, it doesn't matter if you don't spend a dime. Rather than boycotting any spending in the game, I would encourage a full boycott of the game itself. I know I'm walking a very thin line right now, considering that my own YouTube channel is based on this game, but I do think that if you want to see positive changes, then you need to let Niantic know that our data is not worth a terrible gaming experience. I would also resist the urge to give in to FOMO. Yes, if you take a prolonged indefinite break from the game, you will miss out on a lot of content. However, almost 99% of all Pokemon Go raid bosses, costume Pokemon, etc. will always rotate back into the game. If you don't collect Mega Rayquaza energy now, you will eventually be able to later on. Now if you cannot bring yourself to take a break from Pokemon Go for whatever reason, then my other suggestion is that you do the bare minimum. I don't know what that would mean for you, but for me, it would be to just open up the game at home, spin a Pokestop and catch a Pokemon to keep up my daily streak, then I would just focus on PvP battles. Anything I can do to stay active in the game without actually going anywhere. I am a firm believer that if you want to see change, then you need to speak with your wallet, or at the very least, our data. If we can starve Niantic of location data, then maybe they will take our feedback seriously. One final note, and this is more for Niantic, but for myself along with several others that I talk to, the issue is not even that most players prefer remote raids over in-person raids. I think I speak for a majority of people that nothing beats the in-person experience. Raiding as a set group is always a fun time. I'll reiterate that the point that I, along with many other content creators have been saying, is that the approach that Niantic is currently taking is completely wrong. Rather than taking away from remote raids, what they should be doing instead is improving the in-person experience so that it is better incentivized to do so. Keep remote raiding as an option for those who need it, but give players a really good reason to raid in person. I think having certain rewards be exclusive to in-person raids, like Rare Candy XL and Poffins, is a really good step. However, I think all Niantic has to do is take it a step further. Maybe you can increase the amount of Stardust and experience that you get from in-person raids. You could also add a damage bonus for a raid that has a lobby of trainers that are all in person. Whatever the case may be, they really ought to go back to the drawing board because all they are doing is creating a lot of negativity around their game, and their reputation as a company is continuously going down the gutter. I really want to see Pokemon Go succeed. I'm all for this game having longevity. I just do not agree that Niantic is contributing to that. No matter what they, or anyone who is mindlessly supporting them, will say, this will cause the downfall of this game. The only way they can truly allow Pokemon Go to last is by listening to the feedback they are getting. But in any case, that is going to be it for this video. Leave your thoughts down below what you think about all of this. Are you planning to boycott the game? What changes would you like to see with Niantic and Pokemon Go? Share those thoughts in the comments, and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.